Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you're looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I'm going to talk about SQL constraints example. The SQL constraints are used to specify rules for the data in a table. If there is any violation between the constraint and the data action, the action is aborted by the constraint. The constraints can be specified when the table is created or after the, after the table creation. In SQL, we have the following basic constraints. Not null, unique, primary key, foreign key. Not null, it will not allow you to insert null value. Unique, it ensures all the column values are unique. Primary key, it, it's a combination of both not null and unique. Foreign key is the relationship between one table to the other table. So I'm going to create a table called student table. I'm going to create a table called student table and I'm going to add a constraint called not null constraint. So there is a this table student table I'm going to create with seven columns and if you see the last name the last name column I'm adding a constraint so what happens is I will never I don't want to insert null value for this last name so this is a constraint okay I'm going to create this table let's create this table yes table is created the next step is I'm going to insert a student record but for the last name I'm going to give null value actually speaking this should fail because we have added a null constraint here, not null constraint here, so it should fail. It is clearly saying the column last name cannot accept a null value because we have added not null constraint. So how do I solve this? Give a proper value instead of null value. Okay, looks like it is inserted. So this is how constraints works in SQL. Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best.